Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is currently about quarter after ten on uh, what is today? Oh, June fifteenth. Yeah, again. This time I even looked at it, I still couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Those numbers are really fucking with me lately, folks. Anyway, yes, it is June fifteenth, two thousand and eighteen. It is a Friday, which means uh, Murder Dog and I are actually uh, on our third, starting our third week now um, of being out here on the road. And, uh, it's been a, well, it's been a somewhat busy day, but not, nothing like yesterday. Um, and of course, nothing, uh, not as happy as yesterday was, as, as, I, as I remarked last night. You know, I had some things to take care of today, and, uh, my goal was to at least come out the other end with, uh, at least feeling somewhat satisfied. I guess I could, I guess I could say that, um... You know, I, I, when I recorded last night, I talked about, you know, everything we did and the fact that I had to go deal with court and DMV and stuff today. So, last night after I finally finished recording and uh, managed to upload the video, uh, Murder Dog and I uh, set up camp in the, in the same spot we did the night before. And again, you know, no problems. Nobody bothered us. It was great. Uh, woke up this morning pretty early. I don't know, like 6, 6 ish, 6 30 maybe. And uh, it was it was nice. It was actually cool out last night, which was nice because it had been kind of muggy the night before. And for the first time, Murder Dog and I were slightly uncomfortable in the car. I mean, I, I think I was more uncomfortable than her because she wasn't panting or anything. Um, so she wasn't that hot. But, you know, a little, little warmer than it had been. But last night was nice and cool. And uh, this morning, it was already beautiful out when we woke up. And it was, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was starting to warm up, but it was still, you know, Coolish, so we went for a nice long walk, probably about two miles this morning, uh, which is something her and I haven't done in quite a while, especially since she's gotten on in years. Um, but she she enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a good way to start the day. Um, headed over to Planet Fitness, took another shower. Um, man, I've, I've like I'm up like five or six days in a row now. This is insane. <laughs> Can't remember the last time that happened. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, so we did that, and uh, then I, I had to head to the DMV, unfortunately. So I went and dropped Murder Dog off with the wife and kids. Um, I had actually considered leaving her with them last night uh, to make things a little easier this morning, but um, you know, not that I think she's any like serious protection for me or anything like that. But uh, it just makes me feel good knowing I have her in the car with me. So. I just, I kind of wanted to keep it with me last night, and then, uh, so I just drove over there and dropped her off really quick, and then headed to the DMV, and of course I had to head to the DMV because of the screw up with the post office, where they had forwarded my, or attempted to forward my registration to South Dakota, even though they were supposed to hold my registration here in New York, and then of course I learned that, you know, according to the DMV, they, nobody will, they're not actually going to forward those things, I'll try to, but because it's Specific government documents are supposedly not allowed to be forward, forwarded. Forwarded. Did, 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 did. <laughs> it's just going to get. Uh, it's just going to get shipped back to the DMV anyway. So I didn't really have a choice other than to go into the DMV today to try to get another copy of this because the temporary one that I had ran out today. So by the time I got there, the line was already out the door because um, I, I, for some reason I thought they opened at 9, of course they opened at 8, so it, it was already crazy by the time I got there at like 8.30, 8.40. Um, but I haven't been in the DMV for quite a while, and apparently they started adding some automated machines to some of these DMVs. Unfortunately, the one I stopped at only had one automated machine, and of course that automated machine was broken. Um, luckily, because I was on the line and tried it, and one of the people, because now they have like a greeter, like it's fucking Walmart or something, um, who uh, takes people's information before they even get up to the counter to get their number, um, because she saw that a couple of us ran into problems with that, she actually uh, gave us, a, you know, gave us numbers ahead of everybody else. Um, I still had to wait a while, um, but so I, you know, I had to sit down and wait probably about an hour or so to finally get the stupid registration. Uh, luckily, there was, I thought they were actually going to charge me for it. Luckily, they didn't. So there was an hour wasted uh, because, again, this is USPS is screw up. <laughs> uh, but I took care of that, and then I had to head uh, a few towns over to go to traffic court. And walking into that, again, I had no idea how long I would be there because I was told that I had three tickets, apparently, that I had never taken care of. One of which I guess I had shown up for, or I had, uh, I, had I, I guess I must have mailed in the ticket, not guilty or something, but I never paid it, and I don't recall not paying it. Uh, the other, you know, one of the ones, the seatbelt one I had, that one I knew I, I, I blew off because that was a few years back, 
I got pulled over, not by a Nassau County cop, but by a couple of the towns out here have their own police agencies. And it was one of the one of the smaller ones. The uh, the Hempstead Town Police got me on a seatbelt ticket. I ended up having a conversation with the guy and asking him, you know, where the victim was in me not wearing a seatbelt. And he tried to give me some B, you know, the BS about, oh, you know, you could be thrown from your car and then you could actually hit somebody. And I left him with, you know, you're basically charging me with a thought crime. You realize that, right? And he actually paused and thought about it for a while and said, I'm gonna think more about what you said. I mean, he still gave me the ticket, but. I was just like, I said, screw you, I'm not paying this one, because I, at least I reached the cop, and I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to pay it. Well, that came back, you know, that stuck around, so I had to take care of that one. And apparently I had a speeding ticket from years ago, I don't really recall, although once the once the, the information was presented to me, I was like, oh yeah, now I kind of remember that one. Another one of those ones, I, I wasn't putting anybody in danger, there wasn't many other people on the road, the cop was just being an a-hole, because I was going a little bit over the speed limit. Anyway... So I was told that I could only pay one of those up front and that I would have to go in and pay that one first and then then go into the courtroom and wait, you know, basically it's first come serve, first, first serve and then wait until I'm finally called so that they could try to work out a deal for the other two tickets because, well, that's what they do in Nassau County. They love to make deals and uh, they just want to get money out, out of you. Um, so I went and did that, and unfortunately, because you know I, ca- I was carrying the wife's uh, card around with me uh, to make payments with, uh, they wouldn't let me use it because it's not my card. Um, and they told, but they told me that I could actually, for the first ticket, I could actually pay it online. So if I ran outside and used my phone to pay it online, and then came back in, they would give me the clearance paperwork for that. So I, uh, you know, it was either that or try to, or run to an ATM and then come back and pay them cash. And I was just like, ah, oh, it's just easier if I stay here and do that. So I did the online thing. Went back inside, got the clearance, and then went inside in court for, I don't know, three plus hours, maybe. I, I lost track. Um, so, you know, that was a pain in the ass. In the end, I think I was, I was saved like $300 off what the original fines were. I mean, it's still insane uh, between the tickets and having to pay for the registration that I didn't want in the first place, um, but just didn't have a choice because I ran out of time. Uh, you know, it was like still over $1,000. That I really didn't want to give the state of New York at all, but at least now I finally have, you know, again, my, my, now my registration is good here for at least another two years and I finally have a clean license. So I'm actually a little more secure in being out here. I mean, obviously I can still be harassed by the road pirates at any time and they can still try to mess with me, but at least I'm a little more secure as far as my papers go. Because, uh, you know, I've talked about this in the past. I used to be somebody very against these things. And obviously, I think the driver's licenses and all the mandatory crap the, the government is all bullshit. But, you know, it does kind of make sense, especially after, uh, you know, talking a long time with Ben Stone and then reading his book, uh, Sedition, Sedition, Subversion, and Sabotage, uh, that came out last year or the year before now. I don't even remember. Everything's blending together. Um, but anyway, you know, talking about, like, as far as activists go, if you're going to be somebody who's going to you know, do things that will, that will that necessarily draw attention to you, even if it's just somebody like me who puts my face out there and puts my, my voice out there and does all the podcasting and radio shows and now these vlogs, then yeah, you're going to want to have all your papers in order because it gives them less reason to screw with you. So I got that done. Like I said, I hate the fact that I had to spend the money, but I knew this was coming. And uh, now at least that's finally done. Now, now that that's cleared, once, you know, I'll probably have to wait a week to uh, make sure all the things go through the system. Like, they, they actually told me at the courthouse to keep the actual paperwork of the clearances for these tickets on me for the foreseeable future. Because if a cop pulled me over, say, today, it would probably still show up as my license is suspended, even though it's not anymore. I mean, they showed me the records. It's all cleared. Um, but, yeah, so because it's probably going to take a week or thereabouts, um, you know, obviously, I definitely would have been able to make the trip to South Dakota now uh, before the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest to take to switch my license and everything over to there uh, because there's a chance that it wouldn't have cleared yet. And if I drove all the way out there and it was still held up, it would have been a complete waste of a trip. So either way, I was going to have to wait until later on anyway. But at least for now, I'm secure. Um, I do still have to. I just realized as I'm talking about this, I still still have to finish paying off my car. That was something I tried to do yesterday. But the way their system works, I can only pay them so much money over the phone, and I was supposed to call back today, but it's no big deal because, you know, I'm paid off for months now. <laughs> but uh, if I want the car actually in my name sooner rather than later, then, yeah, I'm probably going to take care of that tomorrow. But So, yeah, so I did those two things, and uh, so that took quite a few hours. 
And when I was done, I wanted to go meet up with the wife and kids. Unfortunately, uh, one of my daughters uh, started to get a little sick yesterday, and she woke up. She was even more congested today. The wife wasn't feeling very well. Um, I kind of assumed that meant I wouldn't see them at all because I figured, you know, if they're not feeling well, obviously she's, she's going to keep them in the house, which means I can't see them. Um, but she actually decided to bring them out for a little bit because it got nice, you know, it was nice early on this morning, then it started to get cloudy, and then it got a little bit nicer for a little while. So they came out and hung out at a local park where we were actually able to let murder dog run around for a little bit. Um, you know, we hung out for like an hour maybe. Um, so at least I got to see them, uh, which was nice. And, uh, you know, there was more, uh, I think my wife had to take, the, take my one daughter to the doctor appointment today, too. But, you know, again, things on that end are, uh, are, are getting better. We're, uh, wife and I are talking more, and uh, we are now starting to plan our trip for next week to the Midwest Peace Celebrity Fest. And, uh, yeah, so after they left me, Murder Dog and I just kind of hung out. We found some place to park for a little while. I think I actually nodded off for a little bit because um, I didn't really go to, I don't think I went to sleep until after 2 a.m. last night. So waking up at 6.30 this morning. Uh, I was good for a while, especially after the walk, but, you know, started to crash a little bit. Uh, so we just took a little nap, and then uh, I finally got around to uploading one of the smaller videos I had been taking. I, unfortunately, I've been falling behind. I was trying to take a bunch of those and then put up, you know, one of those a day with the vlogs, and I haven't put one up in a couple of days because I haven't found Wi-Fi. I've only found, you know, I've only ended up getting around Wi-Fi later in the night, and I'm not going to put stuff up back-to-back, -back, so... Finally got one of those up and uploaded, although that was a pain in the ass because I went to a bunch of different locations where it said I had almost full signal, um, and uh, for some reason the, the uploads either kept failing or the sig signal would just drop out randomly. Uh, so that, that killed a lot of time. <laughs> and then uh, we actually almost had an encounter with, uh, with the road pirates, uh, not because of what we did, but because of what somebody else was doing. And I ended up deciding to walk away from the situation, uh, even though I had considered at the time, like as soon as I figured out what was happening, sticking around just to videotape what was going on. But uh, I realized, you know, even though technically I have all this clean paperwork now, um, I'm still a target because I'm out here on the road. Um, all the cops, are, most of the cops know who I am anyway because of what happened last year. Uh, which, by the way, uh, I did get a suggestion um, from uh, somebody who fo somebody who follows me, a guy I've known for a while now, um, who actually requested that I, I maybe do a recap sometime soon about what's going on with all that, all that, with my court case and my move and all that. Uh, I'm definitely going to try to get to that soon. I do do the court updates uh, every time I have a court case. Uh, I do have my next one. It's not until um, July 9th after we come back. You know, after we come back to the Midwest Peace Celebrity Fest, but I, I may actually try to do one um, this weekend on that. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know the full story, I'll, I'll try to cram everything into one episode, so uh, maybe you have a better idea of what I've been going through. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear that train in the background. Um, I said this last night. I kept saying I kept apologizing for the noise, and then when I listen back, I didn't really hear it on the recording, so we'll see. But I'm actually outside, as you can tell right now. I'm standing. Murder Dog and I found a place to uh, pull over. Um, in an industrial park where there's a bunch of tractor trailers parked up alongside the road with people just sleeping for the night. So we pulled over here and actually whipped out the camp stove and uh, made, some, made myself some food. And uh, I'm still sitting here. So I figured while I'm here, I'll get outside and report. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so, uh, I, you know, like I said, I had a problem, problems uploading stuff. And then uh, I decided, you know, once we finally did that, I was like, oh, we're really close to that, uh, you know, to that one dog park that we went to the past two days where, you know, we went with the wife and kids yesterday and the day before Murder Dog and I, Murder Dog and I had gone by ourselves. And uh, it was getting a little late. It was getting close to eight o'clock. And technically, the, you know, it's a county park and those things, they all have signs that would say, you know, closes at dusk or closes at sunset or whatever. But we were close enough, so I decided to drive by and take drive by and take a chance. And sure enough, there was a bunch of people with their dogs in there. So I was like, oh, great, people are still hanging out. So at least we can get out in there, maybe hang out for a half an hour, an hour, and then we'll go set ourselves up for the night somewhere. Um, but when I pulled in and parked, I saw one woman walking out with her dog, and she looked at me and said, oh, the, they, they closed the park on us. And I was like, what? I, you know, I, I mean, I, like I said, I knew the park's technically supposed to be closed, but I figured everybody was hanging out. You know, they were just ignoring it. And... Uh, she said, yeah, the, the security, um, you know, is tossing us out. And apparently there's one woman in there who's refusing to leave. And I look in there and sure enough, there's this one woman in there with like three dogs. And she's just like screaming that she's not leaving, uh, basically mad because, you know, she's a taxpayer. 
and uh, you know taxes fund these things, which you know would be my attitude too, honestly. <laughs> and uh, I actually, for a second, I thought, oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe I should whip out my camera and start recording because the security guard ended up coming up to me and just saying, hey, I just want to let you know, you know, we did close the park and, you know, the cops are on their way, so you may not want to stick around, uh, which was actually nice of him. He didn't have to, you know, give me that information. But, uh, you know, so I was like, I tried to ask him what was going on and, you know, he basically told me the woman's refusing to leave and he's, and he started to say, you know, it's like, if it was up to me, I wouldn't, you know, he's like, I don't care. And I was like, and I was like, all right, I get it, dude, you're just doing your job. And then, you know, the, uh, the libertarian anarchist in me came out and I immediately started, uh, I started asking him if he realized, I'm like, I'm like, you know, I mean, you do realize that we're the ones who pay for all this stuff, right? And he's like, yeah, that's what she's screaming about. I'm like, well, yeah, it's true though. Right. And he's like, yeah. And, uh, I actually got to, I was able to point out to him and he had to think about it for a second. The fact that he doesn't actually pay taxes because he was like, well, I pay in too. And I was like, you're a county employee. You get paid by our taxes. Right. He said, yeah. I said, and then you pay your taxes with that same money, right? He goes, yeah. I said, do you know what happens if you plug a, I'm like, have you ever heard, you know, somebody saying if you plug a surge protector under yourself, you got electricity, woo you know, it doesn't really happen. Yeah, that's what happens when government employees pay taxes. And again, at least I got the guy to think because he was kind of like, oh, hmm. I don't think he was very happy with himself when he thought about it, but whatever. Um, but for a second, like I said, I, I thought about sticking around and I luckily, luckily caught myself and realized that's probably not the best idea because even if I'm not involved in the situation, if I'm just there videotaping, I mean, you see this all over the place uh, where cops get very mad if you record them, even though according to the law, you're allowed to, um, especially if, if you're on public property or your own private property. Uh, you know, but plenty of times you see the videos all the time where cops say, I don't care, and they try to grab your camera and stuff. And again, even with the uh, all my paperwork taken care of now, it was a risk that as much as I wanted to take, I actually thought better of it and realized I should probably just walk away from here because, you know, even if I was just recording and the cop decided to mess with me and if I, you know, my, my instincts took over and I tried to defend my rights or whatnot as far as those things exist, uh, or at least in their paradigm they do, um, you know, they could just decide to try to, you know, threaten me, try to search my car. Um, and, uh, you know, even if they didn't find anything, just the fact that they would rip my entire car, which is now our home apart and leave it on the side of the road wasn't really, uh, probably a good idea to risk that. So for once I was a grown up and walked away. <laughs> um, and it actually worked out really well because within minutes of me doing that and then pulling over a little further down the road and just finding a neighborhood where Mark Drug and I could walk through for a while, my buddy Merrick once again gave me a call to uh, number one, check in on me, but number two, he had some stuff going on that he wanted to talk about. And I think as I talked about the last time when Merrick and I get on the phone, it's hours long conversation. Uh, so that's what I've been doing for the past couple hours, um, you know, talking about his issues, a little bit about my issues, and then we started getting around to ideas for podcasts, which is great. We actually uh, have some, he has some plans that he's working on, and uh, he invited me to take part in some of those. So uh, I'm looking forward to that, because um, I'm not going I'm not gonna to let the cat out of the bag right now, but let's just say it's, it's some things that would be, maybe seem out of the wheelhouse for uh, people like Merrick and I, but also something that we don't think is really being done right now. And, uh, you know, him and I had had a plan for a long time, months now we've been talking about do it, getting together to do, to do a podcast series. Uh, we were going to do it like a cross thing between his podcast, my podcast, um, and do uh, a series on, on the Middle East, you know, on the Middle East and maybe Yemen and like basically foreign policy stuff, stuff that, you know, people like Scott Horton um, and uh, Kyle Anzalone over at the uh, Foreign Policy Focus and other people are doing. But we wanted to give our perspective on it and uh, try to delve in really deep in some of the history stuff. And we've been talking about it for months and months and months. We kept saying, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. But then Merrick came to me with this new idea he has. And uh, yeah, we're, we're putting that other idea on the back burner because we think this one is much more powerful. Um, it's going to serve a much greater purpose and uh, hopefully uh, help some people. So uh, yeah, you can look forward to that. Hopefully uh, in the coming weeks, we're going to try to uh, sit down and do a podcast sometime soon. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, like I said yesterday, my goal was to get to the end of the day, and despite the fact that I knew that I'd be mad that I had to give the state any amount of money, um, hopefully I would be uh, at least content. Um, and since I, you know, didn't get to see the kids for more than, the kids and the wife for more than an hour, at least I got to see them. And, uh, you know, because, like I said, I, I know that the, the wife and uh, one, of, one of my girls is not feeling well, so it's not like I'm mad at them for not being able to hang out. 
Um, but you know, so at least I got to see him. And even though I had to waste more than half a day with the DMV in court, and I had to shell out a hell of a lot of money, I did not want to. It was still less than it could have been. Um, of course, it's all bullshit. But you know, I didn't have to. Sp- I, you know, I spent a little less money than I originally thought I was going to have to. And now that's all taken care of. So that's good. You know, now pretty much all I have left is uh, is this stupid court case. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. The, the permits for my old house, which still haven't been taken care of, um, I'm still supposed to be staying on top of that until, you know, because there's money being held in escrow for the sale of my house until that actually gets, uh, until that actually happens. So, but other than that, you know, knocking things out slowly, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to fest time. So, you know, my plan is right now just to spend the next few days, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully the wife and kids are feeling a little better tomorrow so I can hang out with them some more. If not, I'll just try to figure out some things to knock out on my own. And, uh, yeah, I got to take a trip out east uh, to go to the storage unit to pick up the rest of our camping supplies. And I think I want to try to take the uh, element into the shop really quick uh, just to get, get, get it looked at really quick, make sure everything's good to go for the long trip that we're about to go on. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's Friday, so my plan is to hopefully leave Wednesday morning for uh for michigan um just in case we end up do having having a stop for the night somewhere you know we'll have plenty of time to still get there the next day but yeah that's that's pretty much it I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that and like i said from here on out it's going to be prep time and spending time as much time with the kids and wife as i can uh you know hopefully, like i said hopefully they're feeling better so we can do that uh, but even if i have to suffer a little bit longer without seeing them at the very least, we'll, we'll, we will be getting to spend you know, five or six days together. We'll, we'll actually get to stay in the same place, which is really nice because I, I have missed that. So you know, that'll be good. So definitely looking forward to that. And of course, as I mentioned, on the way back, uh, Shane Radlin from the Bonner Podcast and I both plan on swinging down to see uh, our, our, our friend Ben Stone and hang out with him for a day or two and uh, you know have a good time down there too. So all in all, another, you know, like I said, some things I'm not happy about, obviously, but all in all, another good day. So I'm definitely, uh, definitely on the way to feeling better more regularly. And, you know, the, uh, the long conversation I had with, with my buddy Merrick was, uh, you know, it was, it was great on a number of levels. You know, obviously we talked about a bunch of different stuff, but I also got to felt like I helped him for once because he came to me with his problems. And he's, he's, always, he's always calling me to check out my problems. And I always tell him, hey, man, you can call me, too, if you want, if you got a problem or something. And he finally decided to take me up on it today. So that made me feel good that I was able to help him out a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's always good to talk to him. And then, yeah, so now it's uh, getting close to 11 o'clock. So Murder Dog and I will probably start heading off to where we're going to stay for the night and uh, hopefully pick up some good Wi-Fi while we're close by there so I can upload this quickly and hopefully get it in under the wire. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day. So I think that's about it. I'm actually going to try to wrap this one up relatively quickly. I, I thought I was going to do that last night, but obviously I was so excited. I just kept babbling and babbling and babbling. I think that might have been one of my longest vlogs yet. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'm going to cut this one short. And uh, we'll see, uh, see what tomorrow brings. So once again, as of, well, as always, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, thank you all for your continued comments, support, and uh, suggestions, which keep rolling in, and I really do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, those of you who, of course, keep uh, uploading and uh, reblogging my, my Steam and post, I definitely appreciate that. Uh, you know, every little bit helps. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I will uh, sign off for now. And uh, Murder Dog and I, well, I she, she, she's passed out in the car right now. Otherwise, I'd, uh, I, I'd, I'd should give you a shot at her, but... Uh, I'll let her sleep for a little while longer. But I will check in with you guys tomorrow. So thank you again. This has been Abolitionist Jet. I'll catch you later, all. Peace.